are sitting down as Liberian and you are thinking like the Kenyans, the Nigerians will come in Liberia to make Liberia better, to make Liberia a conducive place, a place that people will want to come and live. Uh, like that's a dream that will never come to pass and I'm, I'm sorry to bust your bubble because this is the ugly truth no nationality will come into Liberia to make Liberia work unless it is Liberian and just the way that that Ubasa has defined work and I love it like it resonates with me so much if there is nothing else I take from, I take from this book the only thing I can take from this book is work equal idea plus execution work is universal once you do work Work with excellence universal principle is that the world must open up to honor the work that you do it is regardless your geographical location it is with the mentality of why are you working I'm working to change lives I'm working to make an impact thank you for clicking that button my name is Phoebe Swami I'm a daughter of a king I am an author I am an engineer and I'm a personal development and personal finance coach uh, I'm a lot of things, like a lot of things. I'm also a, a, a blogger. Uh, follow, uh, visit our website www.thelifeofmeempire.com for amazing blogs and also some of our products and some of our services. Okay, so with that being said, what is this channel that we're about? Okay, the Life in Me Empire. This is an empire we are building. On this channel, we do also our lifestyle content. I believe in creating a life that resonates with us. This is my desire to help ladies create a life of freedom, time, location, financial freedom, that we create a life that God intends for us to live. If this is anything that resonates with you, I want you to subscribe and come on board. Enough of you too much talking, let's get into this. Our library has been on my mind for a bit now. And I actually want to talk to us Liberians. I know there are different nationalities from different countries and continents that watch me, but I am addressing my country Liberia because Liberian people, you know, enough of the nonsense. I'm not going to be friendly in this video because it's a matter of change. Enough of acting. And it is time to take the assignment of work. The reason God created man was the giving command, he was to dominate the earth. He said, take possession of the earth. Work is a womb of greatness. So without work, potential dies being unexpressed. It means that work is very essential in us creating the life that we want. Without work, you are going to see yourself living a life very below what you think you can going to live. Living a mediocre life and wondering how did you get there. It is just because of your lack of work. And when I'm talking about work, uh, this video, uh, thank you so much at the Mars for Uber for imparting our generation for with this work i really appreciate the points that you gave in this book points i'm going to be sharing this book i'm just going to be amplifying the things you are saying the things you are going to be saying today they are going to be coming from the foundation is going to be coming from in this book but i'm going to be amplifying it with more insight from my side to the six pillars of work why you should work so one of it is that work is a medium of expression of your potential you work to express your potential before you start to even decide to work the mentality for which you engage your work with do you know that you can do it do you believe that you can do it it starts from within your mind you need to have the mind and the posture first of all and if you don't have the mindset there are many ways you can develop the mindset of work and one of it is to reading people's life or reading the work that people have created before you, reading the books of great people, reading the Bible, like reading the Bible, those things are going to prepare you for work because work is it was the assignment that God gave to men to do. He said, Work the earth. So, with that being said, work as, a, as an expression of potential. Say you have this amazing idea, you know, that I'm so keen about idea. Without putting the time to work, the ideas that you have, they are not going to be expressed. The ideas will die without it being expressed into the world. So, uh, just the way that Dr. Ubazar had defined.
can work and I love it. I can resonate with me so much. If there is nothing else I take from, I take from this book, the only thing I can take from this book is work equal idea plus execution. What this means is you have an idea to work. Take for instance, I have an idea to produce this video. This is a creativity. And I came to work. I brought this idea to life. I edited the work and now I put it on the, on the internet. We're now uh, accessing this work. That is work. So work is an idea plus execution. But you see that the place that we love you has failed for the past generation is that you think that the only way, I'm sorry for the noise, but the, the only way that you can make an impact is in work is if you go to the office, sit behind a desk and work. That is work. Now I've come here to dismantle that belief because if you are selling your billabo in the market, guess what? You are working. If you are writing your painting in the morning, guess what? You are working. So work it starts with the attitude for which you are working. That's another point of which why you work. You work to be a channel. You, your work can be a channel of blessing to others. So a lot of people are sitting like you now, and they are saying like, why is that like this? Why are the countries like this? But majority of us have the potential within us to create uh, services, to cre create products, to create a producer that is going to benefit people, to have agriculture produce that's going to help the economy to bloom. You are in a diaspora. You have this amazing idea and you want to create this product within Africa. But you, are, you keep saying, yes, what? That idea, that, that creativity might most likely die on a spread. This is my hope that as the result of coming across this video, you are going to take the leap of faith to come in and, and bring that a difference that the country needs because it is with our collective efforts, your collective, your creativity, my service, your platform that brings together and make the difference that we want to see. Uh, we are sitting down as Liberia and you are thinking like the Kenyans, the Nigerians who come in Liberia to make Liberia better, to make Liberia a conducive place, a place that people want to come and live. Uh, like that's a dream that will never come to pass. And I'm I'm sorry to bust your bubble because this is the the ugly truth. No nationality will come into Liberia to make Liberia work unless it is Liberia. So if you are sitting on the potential and not allowing it to be expressed, guess what? The country is going to be down because the country needs you. Today I have authored a book and there are other things that we've been working on and there are other young people that are working on things and collecting them we are contributing to the society but what is your contribution what can you bring on the table what services are you bringing to make a difference because work also can be a channel of blessings in other people's life your work when you do your work with excellence others should be able to say that i'm so grateful for that man the work that he did because if the data work in the hospital, we see the data perform miracle to do operation C sessions. Because that's his work he's doing. He's a channel of blessing to our lives. If they part of part of the plane well and we reach our destination safe, we like are taking for a successful flight. That is what work. So work does not have a geographical limitation. Work is universal. Once you do work with excellence, universal principle is that the world must open up to honor the work that you do. It is regardless of geographical location. It is with the mentality of why are you working? I'm working to change lives. I'm working to make an impact. Why are you working? Or why are you not working? Because if you are not working, work can be the, as I say, a channel of middle expression of, of your potential. The potential that is within you, it is to help other people to be better. So whenever you don't work, you are actually robbing the nation of the, the benefits of your results. Because the result that you bring within the nation, it brings within the magnitude of change that others in different sector needs. If I'm working with engineering, with and if I come home and I need to eat food, I have to go to the market to purchase from the lady that sells bitter ball. As soon as it might be, that's a work. So what mentality do you go to work in the morning with? Okay, if you are going to be behind to sit behind bitter ball, do you know that that place you are sitting, it is your office and you are contributing to the society because you are providing for us services that we are able to buy food? Do you know that if we are working in the office, we are working in those big offices, do you know that if we don't eat, 
for two days, we are unable to focus and do work. What I'm saying is that you may think that you the thing you have to do is, is irrelevant. But no, I'm coming to tell you that it is very irrelevant and it's, it's regardless of your geographical location. Once you set the mindset that I'm going to work with excellence, you are going to work with an international standard. People might ask if you are traveled out of your geographical locality, but that doesn't matter when you are doing work with elegance and excellence. So my question to you here is that what work are you doing now? And how are you contributing to building a society, to building the community? So if you are working and you have your available place, you have your restaurant, you don't have the, the, the mentality is just so backward and the place is so dirty. Like there are flies everywhere. Like when we stop there to eat, like, uh, I, when we stop there, when we stop there to eat for granola, God has placed us on this earth to influence and to dominate. Like, I have come to understand that the place you are running to go, you don't have to be running to the US to make life happy. You need to just understand that working is all that you need. God confessing everything but working and consistency. This is also for me. And consistency is what you need to really make life work. So enough of that running away to go to the West to make life happy, running away to come to the East. It is about working with intentionality, working with purpose. If you haven't had any job, any work that you are doing, the purpose of this video is to contradict you that you are not contributing to the society. There is absolutely nothing you are doing. You don't even pay tax to the government. There is nothing you are doing. So don't get up in the morning and talk about the society, about the country. Let us talk with our work. But I'm contradicting you that the ability to work, God has given to everyone. Begin to use your mind. Make the difference that you want to see. Have a desire this 2020 to be the difference that you want to see.